Robert, thanks for being here. Thank you, uh, Lucas. Welcome to Sona Motors. Great that you're interested in our Sion. Should we have a look? Yes. Fantastic. Let's have a look. So just over here, you can see this is our latest prototype. So we're using these prototypes to do our tests, our crash and safety tests, our long duration tests, just to see how the car reacts. So that we're then ready to start into production and have everything ready with our car here. What makes the sound special? What is our vision? Well, we want to start with the vision to have a world without fossil fuel. That's a big idea which we started 10 years ago. Actually, in a pit stop in Munich, in a garage, yeah? Like a classical startup. And now I've been growing up after 10 years to around 400 people. Um, we've got a fantastic community with over 21,000 reservations for the Sion. And we're just one step away to make this dream become reality. Uh, what is so special about this car? Well, mostly three things, which we're really proud of. The one is, which you can see them from the other side, the solar integration. So we got the whole car covered in solar panels. And the idea is that an average person living in an urban area conducts around uh, 100, 112 kilometers each week to go to work, to have weekend trips, and so on. With this car, you can actually cover or gain an additional 112 kilometers each week in an average day. So in summer it will be a little bit more, in winter a little bit less. But yeah, that's the basic idea. And you can see when you get closer here that we get all these solar panels integrated into our hill around it. So using polymer as a structural element around it, we get the solar panels inside and then we have our steering uh, module inside which then calculates how much sun are we getting from which direction to help us to shut off certain areas if there's no sun coming there or activate other panels to maximize the energy output which we can generate with the solar panels. So that's the first thing, yeah. Yeah? the solar integration mm -hmm. as to enable people to really drive this car without the need to power it up with energy. The second thing is, which a lot of our customers are looking for, is the bi-directional charging unit. You can see a lot of people here, but we can actually look over here at this unit. So this big block is just here for the bi-directional charging. We got a converter in here to convert from AC to DC and the other way around. And we want to enable three different scenarios which we want to have with this car. The first of one is a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle load. So what does this mean? Um, if you look online, you can actually see a video which we created uh, a couple of days ago where a Tesla was being parked next to our Sion and you can plug in your Tesla into the Sion and then load up your car. And the idea is here, of course, that you can share cars, uh, energy between cars, but also the car shouldn't be something which is just standing around and has no use. So if I have it standing on the car, if the battery is full, if more energy is being produced with the solar panels, I can use the surplus to give it away to other people and they pay me for the energy which they drain from the car. So the vehicle to vehicle is the one first concept. Smart idea. Thank you. <laughs> the second one is vehicle to building. And this is where a lot of customers are getting really excited, especially when they have their own PV uh, collectors on the roof. So what happens normally? You have your solar collectors on your private home. They collect a lot of energy during the day where you don't need it. And at night you need to buy some expensive storage to store all this energy. Well, the idea is with the Scion that in this car we got a 54 kilowatt hour energy battery, which probably is enough electricity to provide your home with three, four days of electricity. So the idea is during the day where you have lots of energy, you can store it all inside of the Scion. And then at night, or if you're in the middle of a store, or maybe it's just a really cold winter day with no light outside, you can use actually the Scion as a battery to power up your home. And the really weird thing is that the market for stationary batteries at home is so overpriced that you get here the battery actually for half the price what would you pay in an equivalent way if you would put on your own stationary battery into the house. And you get a car for free with that. Yeah. So not the worst deal, right? No. The third one which we're currently working on, but this is more of the concept because we're still waiting for some regulations there, is the vehicle to grid. Because we know the biggest problem with the um, transformation of our energy production in our countries is that we're producing a lot of energy during the days and then we need to stabilize the whole network to make sure that, especially then at evening times when we produce more energy, we have the energy at the right places. Well, the idea is, if we have 20,000 of these cars on the road, 
they can serve as a mobile energy storage point all over and we call this vehicle to grid. So during the day when I have too much energy in the grid, I can store it in the car and again when the energy is needed, I can transfer it out of the car back into the grid. Wow. The third concept which we're following is, is the sharing concept. Because we say, why should everyone have a car if only for 9% of the time I really use this car? Uh, sorry, in 10% of the time I use this car, 90% of the time it's just standing around and actually I don't need it. So the idea is, when I have a Sion, I can create my own community who uses the car. So for example, my friends, my neighbors, my family, I can add them in the app as a community and I can give them access to my car. And whenever they need the car, they can just unlock it with their own app. They are already insured via our system. They pay you whatever you would like to get from them for using the car. And multiple people can use the same car instead of just one person and just standing around. And this is like a question, it's like Link and Go concept? Sorry, this is Link and Go. Do you know the company? Link and Co. No, I don't. It's also like car sharing. Uh, someone get the ga the car, and after you can rent it off to to other people. But yeah, you pay, but uh, exactly. In this case, it's really a private car. So I'm renting on my private car. Okay, you can so actually you're... use this app already today. Okay, it's already available in the App Store, and like the rest of the software inside, we're constantly working on it and bringing new features and new updates there into the car. And that's pretty much what makes us really special. So. What we want to do is, we really want to reinvent how mobility is working and how car manufacturing is working. And a lot of things we're doing differently to the classic OEMs. So you get all the instructions on how to do repairs for free. You don't need to go to a specialized pit stop, yeah? We're well, using a lot of serious parts here everywhere to enable you to do quick changes and not pay lots of money in case you, something breaks down or you need to replace something. And of course, our technology, we have a lot of intellectual property in, that you have fiber all over, which is more flexible, mm -hmm. but still the solar panels integrated, constantly delivered with, uh, with solar energy. And the most important part for this, this should not be a very expensive, very specific car, which no one can afford. But we want to have a car which everyone can afford. And so the CM is on the market for 30,000 euros. Where right now? Well, Unfortunately, as the financial markets developed like they did, we've been running out of money. We don't have enough money anymore to really put this car on the street. And we can see we're almost there, yeah? This is a fully functional prototype with which you can do test drives already, which is working. So we're just one step needed to really put this on the market and start a production. And for this we started our campaign with the goal to collect enough supporters, 3,500 people who are willing to say, yes, you know what, I want to have this car, I don't care if I only get it in two years, I already do my down payment now or in one year, I make the down payment now, I help you for these times and I help you forward the way for production so that together we really can make this vision come true. So it's from that, because I saw also on the internet, hashtag save Sion, this is about it. That's it. You need save to, to raise Sion. more money to, to build the cars and... Uh, exactly, to, be, uh, and to make this vision really come true and reality. And this is the only car you have, or do you have more cars? We have in total 18 prototypes produced now. We got two with us on tour. One is in the other hall where people are doing test drives. Okay. As is the biggest automotive. And this little part makes it. Today, and this one is standing here for everyone to get a feeling of how it feels and how it is sitting inside of the sign. Then, and so it's like four or five person car. <laughs> it's a five person car. So yeah. with, with two babies or something like that, there is no problem. Yes, yeah. and actually in Berlin, we got a couple bringing their own child seat with them, which is mm -hmm. kind of a big one. Yeah, I've never seen this before, which you can turn around on the seat for easy access. Oh, yeah. And also this fits inside here, yeah? So it's really a family made car. Something which does not exist so much anymore because everyone is building big SUVs. And here we want to make just an average car for the average person for an average work life. And the system, everything is like, is getting all this all new feature, right? Like yeah. uh, cruise control and uh, between the lanes. And do you get also the updates over the the air, like Tesla? Or do you need to go to the garage? Or Absolutely. how it's? Um... So we already got some systems installed. We got the back camera, which helps you get parked in, and a sensor, of course, which beeps. But we also got a radar at the front 
and we got a camera here to help you with the lines. And our idea is to enable over-the-air updates. We can constantly deliver the new features uh, whenever we have the, the technology ready. Because right now what we see is, yeah, all the components are ready, the technique is ready. What we can then always do is further develop the software to really bring in new functionalities. And what will be the difference between this prototype and the final car? Will be a big difference? Or? Yeah, so what we did here is we use prototype tools to create this car, mostly. So these are tools we really just use for the prototypes and therefore the quality is not as high of these parts. You can see in small parts here, for example, it's not completely even the surface here. And this is because, well, the usage of these cars. So what we want to do now is create the final tools, which we'll then use also for the production and build up our own production line in Valmet with our partner in Finland to really then start into the production of the Scion. With the big goal that once the production line is running and once we're up to speed, we can actually build at 41,000 signs per year. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, th Thanks thank for you. stepping in. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. You're Lucas, welcome. Yes. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>